Hello and welcome to the Skyward channel. Today, I'm gonna to bring to you guys the top five absolute best gaming headsets you can purchase for 2016 going into 2017. Now, this list was not possible if it were not for the help of my editor. And if you guys don't know, my editor is a huge audiophile. He puts such meticulous thought into his audio setup that he literally pays extreme attention to detail when it comes to his audio products. Like he's had a lot of work with gaming headsets, with microphones, amplifiers and sound cards so he's a huge audiophile nerd and if it weren't for him he wouldn't have been able to help me create this list but on top of that this is going to be featuring some of the best gaming headsets that are going to completely ignore cost so if you just want the absolute best of the best then this is the list you guys should probably follow for your next gaming headset so let's get into the video But real quick, I want you guys to know of the notification bell button that's right next to the subscribe button on the channel. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been getting some notification squad comments. So for you people who are in the notification squad, what up? It's I'm glad you guys are in the club. And if you guys want to be a part of the notification squad too, just click that button, join the club today. It's a great thing to join. And I'll let you know whenever my videos update and upload instantly. So be sure to click that button if you want constant updates for my newest videos. Now, fifth on this list, we have the Logitech G933 and G633. Now, while this is number five on this list, you gotta take it into note that this, this is still a great gaming headset. And I'd say out of this entire list, it's probably the most gamer-centric gaming headset. And here's why. It's got the same sort of closed back over the ear design that is breathable, and it's got that gamer look to it. But most importantly, it's got a lot of gamer features to it that a lot of people who simply get headsets for gaming would really appreciate. Like it's got even programmable buttons on the back of the headset itself. It has a very versatile microphone that actually sounds very good and would be really great for clear communication when you play in-game. It also has RGB lights, which actually can light up to certain actions within the game. So like, let's say if you die in a first person shooter game, the headset is gonna light up red and you know, you can just light up to certain actions within the game. And lastly, one of the most important things to take away about this headset is that, is, is that it doesn't use digital Dolby surround sound, it actually uses DTSX surround sound. If you don't know, DTSX is a bit better in my opinion because it can link up certain profiles to certain games that'll specifically cater the headset to sound best for that game. So I'm pretty sure there's like a Battlefield 1, sound profile they can download onto the headset that is specifically for Battlefield 1 so you can get the best listening experience possible just for listening and being in that game. So that's number five on this list, the Logitech G933 and G633. Now at number four and what I think is going to be the next beats of gaming headset, the Arctis Steel Series 3, 5, and 7. Now, the reason why I call these the next beats of gaming headsets is because they're kind of shooting for a certain type of headset for a certain type of consumer with the Arctis 3, 5, and 7. As you can clearly see in the advertising, this is not only just a gaming headset, but it's also a headset you can use for everyday listening, to take it on the go, to listen to it like on campus, on the bus, or anything. And as you can see, it's going to be pretty much an all-in-one headset, which I find to be pretty appealing because the looks of it are always hinting at like a gamer-like look. It actually looks pretty urban and contemporary, which I personally would really dig if I were to have a really clean looking gaming desk setup. So I feel like the Arctis 3, 5, and 7 is going to be a pretty cool looking gaming headset that's going to be all-in-one and it's going to be striving for that urban contemporary beats-like feel. But regardless, this is still a pretty damn good gaming headset. It's got some pretty awesome sound quality that is actually going to be a bit better than the Siberia Elite, even though it is using the same drivers, and that's from just from design improvements when it comes to the gaming headset and its sound quality. This also has a pretty decent microphone, not as good as some of the other microphones on this list, but it's still pretty high quality. But for the most part, you're getting this gaming headset for the really good sound quality and the looks. And if you guys were wondering, the three is the gaming headset that is wired. It's base, it's the base model. The five is the same thing as the three, but it's got RGB lighting. And the seven is the same, except it's wireless. So if you're looking for an all-in-one gaming headset that you can bring to you like on the go to campus, and you don't want to make it look like a gaming headset, even though it kind of is, then the Steel Series Arctic 3, 5, and 7 would be perfect for you. Now, at number three on this list, and which is probably the most ergonomically friendly gaming headset is the HyperX Cloud Revolver. 
Now, as I said, a bunch of people love this gaming headset. There's many fans of the Cloud 1 and Cloud 2 in this gaming headset lineup, but the Cloud Revolver is sort of like the epitome of both of those gaming headsets. So if you're the person who I would say is you're a gamer, but you just want a headset that's just a game. You don't care about the specs. You don't care about any of the special little features. You just want something that can game. And it's going to be super comfortable on you. And it's going to give you some pretty awesome sound quality, not only in the audio drivers, but also in the microphone itself. And that's exactly what the HyperX Cloud Revolver is for. So as I said, this is an over the ear semi back design, which is going to give you some pretty awesome immersive sound quality, along with a pretty good microphone. And it has that sort of gamery look to it that isn't and over exaggerated so this is pretty much for the average joe who just wants something that's solid reliable and extremely comfortable hence the name hyper x cloud revolver now at a very close number two on this list we have the creative sound blaster x h7 now this headset is definitely for you audiophiles and it's definitely a very good pick that my editor highly recommends for you people who just simply want something that sounds good so for the most part, the Creative Sound Blaster XH7 is coming from a company that is well known for their sound amplifiers. And they've incorporated some of that really good audio technology into their gaming headsets. And that can be seen with the tremendously good audio quality that comes out from the Sound Blaster XH7. It gives off some pretty amazing sound quality. And even so on top of that, the software that comes with the headset itself, just like the Logitech G933 and 633, you can actually have certain game profiles for certain games that will cater the headset to be sounding better for those games in specific. So like with Battlefield 1, you can load up a Battlefield 1 profile or a League of Legends profile, and those games in specific will sound the best possible on the gaming headset just thanks to those gaming profiles. And also this has a pretty awesome sounding gaming microphone, which is kind of surprising, coming as from Creative. And lastly, this supports some pretty awesome looks, I think. It's maybe not as good looking as the Arctis, like the number four headset on this list, but it still looks pretty nice. It's got that sleek urban look to it that I really appreciate. So at number two, we have the Creative Sound Blaster XH7. Now at number one on this list is the Sennheiser Game Zero and Sennheiser Game One. Now these are by far some of the best gaming headsets you can purchase on the market. And this is coming from a company named Sennheiser, which have been known for making some really good sounding regular everyday headsets for like, casual listening to music and stuff like that. So it wasn't until recently that they moved into the gaming world and they've taken it by storm by producing probably some of the best sounding gaming headsets of all time, if not the best right now for 2016 and 2017. So as I said, both of these are tremendously good gaming headsets. They have an over the ear design that's gonna give you some amazing sound quality. I'd say probably the best in the market right now. This also sports a pretty impressive microphone actually for its price. And also people have reported that the ergonomics on the Sennheiser Game 1 and Game 0 are also really awesome. They are really comfortable from what people have said and they've said it's like one of the best gaming headsets they've ever felt on their head. So this thing pretty much combines all the best aspects of what a gaming headset is and slams it all into an enclosure. Now, if you're wondering, the difference between the Game Zero and Game One is that the Game Zero has a closed back design, which is more for noise cancellation and just more of a gamer kind of preference, while the Game One has an open back design, which is more immersive for that just best possible sounding gaming experience that if you're fine with you know the sound leaking then so be it. So the game one is more for people who just want the best possible sounding experience and are more like audio files and the game zero is more for gamers who want that closed back design that has noise cancellation and all that good stuff. Anyways though, thank you guys so much for watching the top five video. Make sure to like, favorite, subscribe and all that and this is the Skyville channel signing out.